I'm not a vampire, not an alien, I'm not the fucking mummy, I'm a goblin. Greetings and welcome, I am the Twisted Goblin. And I have my hockey shirt on, from five, uh, not five minutes, Freddy, from uh, Five Finger Dead Punch. Five Finger Dead Punch. <laughs> anyway, I'm here today on this moment in my life to you know you know talk a little bit about the, the Pride Month that everybody uh, uh, has now. I mean, we had like a few weeks ago for me uh, at least it was Gothic Day, like a great a great day where you celebrate Gothic stuff. And uh, it's actually a day. I was arguing that's like we have a day, and L M G. Q and everything has a whole fucking month. A whole fucking month that they do stuff, and then after the month, they still do stuff. Because that's what they do. And I'm all for that to celebrate it, but come on, a whole fucking month? To a week, maybe? Well, months? It's always like, also like Black Lives A month? Is that not a little bit much? I get that you want to celebrate it, and I get that you want to. Uh, do it all, all year, and I'm all for all year doing uh, the thing. But Jesus Christ, a whole month, and then you cannot argue anything there. But we're not here to argue. We're gonna celebrate as well. So I was like, you know what we're gonna do? What's the best? Thing? My favorite, uh, fa uh, favorite characters or in that uh, that are put in that uh, in that uh, uh, in that corner. So one of them is Bad Woman because I like Bad Woman. I like uh, the TV series, the first season of Bad Woman, really cool. I like how she is a badass from a military. I wish she was a little bit more. And I saw some comics in the thing where Alice is like, I love it. I love the fuck out of that. I think that's a great, uh, great stuff. So Bad Woman is well my least favorite of the ones that I picked, but there it is. And it also makes uh, like. Like, yeah, there are, are fucking ca great characters that you could do more of. Because DC feels like, oh, we should create more characters. Oh, we should change that character to become a gay or has. It's like, while well, we have already cool fucking badass characters in here. So, like, the, literally also the uh, the whole scenario from uh, bl uh, uh, swapping a black uh, character thing. It's like, we have... We have Superman. Somebody wants him black. I'm like, but we have a black Superman. It calls President Superman. We have, uh, uh, what was his name? Val Al Val Zot. Oh fucking my! One of my favorite Superman. Even more better than the main uh, Superman from our two years. But but no, we want. That's like I don't like it. I want the pride to be there, like the pride of Spawn. You know, we want some more superheroes. Get to spawn, make a movie about him. I mean, we had one in the eighties, but come on, we can do better than that, right? So we have all that, and I think those are a thing to be proud of, and that's you know, all what pride is, right? So be proud of uh, uh, how you look. Be proud of the characters that are already there. Harley Quinn, fu a fucking badass chick, has like everything that she really wants. She is a loony, a bit loony, a bit crazy, a little bit insane. Had a toxic relationship with a guy, uh, a very toxic relationship. Fall in love with a girl eventually with her best friends. Goes like that. Uh, I mean, that was like perfect relationship. Ivy is awesome. Uh, uh, Ivy is also like on whole things. Like she was very much doesn't like any humans, wants or anything, but fall, uh, is still able to fall in love with Harley Quinn. I mean, that's a cool co fucking power couple if I ever seen one. And Harley Quinn is an anti-hero. Uh, Poison Ivy is pretty much still a villain. But still, it's like, a very much. But can we have more, you know? I think Harley Quinn is one of the best and the main kind of thing. If you want a, a Pride Month uh, 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 icon, I think Harley Quinn should be it. I think Harley Quinn should have uh, this whole comics about uh, Harley Quinn for oh, Pride Month. Because that's the your main... We have also Jonathan, the son of Superman, but that's a recent uh, thing and felt a bit forced. But also, I don't read it much enough to say it one way or the other. I'm like, that's forced, but I'm like, is it? Mm, I don't know. It's forced on the fucking public. It's fucking forced on uh, uh, on the media. They're like, yeah, it forced a bit. If you watch it on Twitter, I feel like it seems forced and people arguing in front of a thing. So yes. 
when it comes to social media, it's cut first. But in the comic itself, I don't know. So, but then there is also like, um, fucking, uh, uh, there is also Loki if you go to Marvel. There is Loki. He is the ROG of uh, the, all the pride that you should have in this month. He is, he is gender fluid, like very much. He fucking is, he uh, uh, changed into animals, but it's like he becomes a woman, he becomes man. It, that's, that's not even only in Marvel. That's a fucking thing. That's the, a Loki should be here on the, uh, the, uh, should be the statue of fucking pride month on the, uh, for Marvel because of how he is. He is uh, so gender fluid. He goes for girls, women, uh, animals, but that's an all, all other thing. Like he is actually real. I mean, real as in history uh, and actually a God that people believe just as much as Christianity believes in God. Uh, pagans believe in Lo uh, believe in uh, a Loki as the god of mischief. It's like he has actually real, he has actually done those things so far as history uh, history is concerned. So this guy is like sure, uh, sure Marvel changed him a little bit here and there, but he's still a fucking icon if I ever seen one uh, when it comes to the. So yes, I would certainly put him into Pride Month and tell him that you. This guy is is your guy for for all this, and also one of my favorite characters. For I think so, I'm support the fuck out of him. Uh, yes, uh, so like Harley Quinn, Loki, and Batwoman, fucking awesome. There are some other characters that are also yay. There is like we have Alex from a Supergirl. She is uh, she's gay. Uh, has but thing she has struggles and I actually liked her character I think she is done well even though it's like yeah but then she uh, she, uh, she wants to turn child she actually got a child that was awesome for her and she fell in love with the second time the second time I didn't feel that connection with them each other it was uh, uh, it was just a sister of a thing and I didn't feel that connection that she had with the first girl that she fell in love with as like the first girl felt like, yeah, that that that's that's fu that seems like a thing, and then it came out each other. I hope we get that love again. The second one feels like very much pushed for some reason. I don't know why, but I felt like it was more pushed. I think Lena and Supergirl would have been less pushed, and they are fucking just best friends. And you can just be best friends. Just saying. <clears throat> when the Wednesday shippers, literally, there are some people that. Uh, wanna ship Wednesday with her BFF that's the whole color thing and it's like I um, feel like okay you can do that fan fiction but don't put that uh, actually in the fucking show I don't mind it in fan fiction and you you can go all out with that fan fiction but don't put it in the show does it seems like they're best friends I don't see the connection to to have them couple up Wednesday is not a fucking couple but anybody, Wednesday is a fucking, uh, certainly when she's a child, maybe later when she is, uh, you know, tw in her 20s, she wants to sell a thing down fi or find somebody that's also so a little bit murderish uh, and can uh, take morbid jokes. I think morbid jokes would be a, a very much a flirty thing to do to her. Doesn't matter if you're a girl or, uh, or a man. I feel like flir flir morbid jokes maybe could get there, you know, get her. Get her going. Anyway, so yeah, there's all this and uh, Harley Quinn and thing. So I talked about it. There's also uh, the Dreamer. She came back in the Flash on some point, and apparently also in the comic because I found this when I was uh, searching up DC Pride. It's like, okay, so Dreamer is actually in the comics now. I like the credit, she's transgender and the actress is actually transgender, so she has a whole issue. Uh, I liked her that she became more powerful and that she, I, like, I liked her struggle with her being a, 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 a first man, then became a woman, and after being a woman, she got the powers that actually was only bestowed onto women, and she still got just like to, to be able to do, I like that struggle. Then games like I was like the only fucking struggle. I'm like, okay, 
I get it. I, I get it that you are thing and that your big sister doesn't like that uh, because she feels like pushed away and now she's literally like just this is like some problems of everybody almost like they all they say they have no problems with that they don't have no problem but the moment the moment you fucking disagree with them the moment you uh you are uh you uh you disagree with them and everything they attack you with all the things that they say they didn't mind it's like that whole thing it's like seriously seriously you're gonna do that you're gonna attack so uh, that's like you're not even a, a, a woman you're a guy it's like i hate that excuse i hate when people use that excuses from making the past while they're at the beginning like yeah i don't mind it and then they're gonna put that in your face like they really want they just want to hurt you they just want to have something to attack you with later that's pretty much hey <laughs> anyway so yeah uh well uh, uh, like there's also another wonder woman uh apparently that's in this thing i don't know who she is i don't know yeah. there's also the another green lantern i know she exists that's about it it's about us there's also a non-binary flash that i'm like well, why well, the fuck not? I don't care. <laughs> but the Flash family is so big. I like God's feedback. I would love God's feedback at some point. Come on. Uh, but for the rest, I'm like, ah, I don't, I don't care. I don't care. I, don't, I don't care who the non-binary flash is. Uh, if you want to make her bigger, sure. No, the Flash family is big. The speedster would love to if her she slowly gets introduced again somewhere in that line but the flash shocks right now the comics since uh since barry allen uh, left the comic uh well to the side and have wally west coming in i really wanted to give it a chance but that didn't work uh whatever uh, whatever those uh two are too straight for this pride month so so i i liked everything uh those characters are are the ones that I'm really like proud of to, to be a fan of and are great characters and I would say role models but Harley Quinn is a psychopath that does the thing beautiful wonderful Loki does some very selfish things and and do, uh, makes everything use even though he's kind of a hero now uh, I think uh, him and being a villain is much cooler but you know you have to you're able to be proud of him uh, uh, of the things that he does and the things, I mean, not actually does, but he became a, the the god of storytelling instead of god. Oh, well, the last time I read a comic, at least, like he became the god of stories instead of the god of mischief. And his brother, that actually is a, uh, is just a magical creation of Thor or or some conscience, uh, become uh, become his own thing. He is now the god of mischief, but he's more getting tortured right now. Anyway, so yeah, that's about it. There are more characters that are in DC and Marvel that, I oh know, I'd say there's like this big wedding that used to go, it's like very much, I don't remember if it's in DC or Marvel, I think it was in DC, but there was like this first gay couple, uh, like the very first time a big wedding of a gay couple, and there was, uh, this was like the biggest event. Like everybody's like, that was like holy shit moment in comics. And everybody's like, oh, that was fun. Now everybody, uh, now it feels more pushed. That feels like natural. That that's kind of feel, feel more natural done. This one, the most of the day, like Loki is also very natural on because it's Loki. He, he has already has a history in the real world of the Harley Quinn. Also feels uh, like well done because of her history with a toxic relationship with a guy that leaves the thing, falls in love with her best friend, the only one that's been there for her, even though she's a bit of a psychopath always. It's like that makes sense. Like uh, everything that uh, it's maybe also uh, like bad woman was already lesbian. Begin uh, oh, well in the beginning she uh, came out. And it's like it makes sense. Everything those characters felt natural makes sense because now. You can always create new characters that are a thing, but feels like this is the age when it gets more pushed than anything. Uh, uh, if it's close natural, I feel like John, John, uh, John's whole uh, thing, uh, Superman's song would have been better if it was done natural. Like 
his aging go goes natural. Like you give him four years uh, of him with a friend, then him age, age him a little bit uh, two years, then age him again a little bit two years, but not here is the 18. Bang! Boom! Now he discovers he is gay. It's like, why does he discover that? Why does that have to happen so fast? We already don't like that he is a fuck already an adult. Well, or 18 or 17. It's like we don't like that he got so fast. Now he got so fast to be having a boyfriend. We could not explore a little bit more how how it's gonna be. How how uh, is it? Maybe he's in fighting. Maybe his uh, thing. Maybe it discovered this a little bit slower, you know. Maybe it's like not sure. He could. I mean, there's like this struggle with people that are gay. A lot that are like, how co uh, I'll come in the closet. I should stay in the closet. It's like, should I say hey, like that? You should be proud of who you are. You should be proud that uh, uh, that doesn't matter who you are. That you still can be accepted. I mean, I'm gothic for crying out loud. I mean, this is not very much my Catholic look, but I like wearing my Gothic stuff. I like being proud of uh, wearing my Gothic stuff, like the stuff that I wear. I like to be proud of that because some people are. There are always so people that are not gonna be proud of who you are. That's like something in general. It's like I, I have like thought, uh, thoughts like, oh, that's cool. It's like you wearing Gothic stuff. You wearing this. Uh, cool stuff. That's my style. That's my gothic style. But then they're like, okay, we're gonna go to dinner. Now you cannot have wear that style. You have to. No, no, no. I'm gonna wear that fucking style. It's my style. I will find something more or uh, decent uh, looking, like, but still gonna be in the gothic look. It's still gonna be that gothic feel because that's my style. You should not change somebody because the thing. It's like saying uh, in the Pride Month. Stuff it's like going, yeah, you're with a guy, you're a guy, and you're going out with a guy, but that's like, yeah, you're going to dinner, but go with a girl, it's like for that day, it's like just for that day, after that, you can go away, but in this dinner, it's okay, that's changing the fuck you who you are, don't fucking change for anybody. People should accept you for who you are, accept what you like to wear, accept. What you think is like, yeah, sometimes it's weird, sometimes it's freaky, sometimes it's insane. But be proud of that. Be like, uh, and if they don't like you, fuck them. Sure, it sounds easy from uh, coming from somebody that's fu very fucking single uh, and f very straight. But, you know, I like wearing my stuff. I like to think you should uh, like what I like. You should like what you like. You like this uh, uh, that stuff, you like that. I mean, Gothic has this whole culture with everything what's on to beyond uh, a whole point of view of the world as well. But it's also like you can be gay and Gothic. You can be, uh, you can be straight, lesbian. You can be lesbian. Gothic is very inclusive, inclusive for everybody. Sure, colors is not really Gothic thing. So rainbows you not see that much in Gothic looks. But there are some hippie gothic, so it's not totally not possible to uh, wear still the rainbow things and have, be got, uh, have the gothic look. So it's not impossible, you still have a chance to also acquire that in your gothic look. I'm just saying! So yeah, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I got, I'm proud of the characters that I chose of the things to present this month. I think... What's, uh, what are your characters that you guys like? That's our maybe, uh, like, gay, straight, uh, not straight, but, you know, the other, the other thing, fluent, uh, alpha thing. Uh, they, them, still, still not on board with that. Not because I don't think that's not, not a thing, because it's totally a thing. They, them, does exist. Been there for the, not the dawn of time, but certainly 20 years ago. It's called personality disorder. When you have more personalities in your head, they that are been called they them since mm, last century. Just saying. It's like it's not a new thing. You just put it on something else that it should not be. But for the rest, I'm all agreement with everything. Proud. Be proud to be yourself. Be who you like to be, 
and all that insanity. And grow a beard. If you're a girl, grow a beard. If you're a man, grow a beard. If you're, if you're an animal, grow a bigger beard. You have hair. Make more hair, but the, on the, your face instead of the other, where your hair can be. I'm just saying. But I, what am I? That's just an opinion. Just, just my point of view. Uh, you can have another viewpoint. I respect all points of views. Besides, you don't know the little thing, but you know we can argue with that. It's like if you like that, I could. I'm not gonna go agree with it, but I, it's real. I respect you to be wrong. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed my little video about proud, uh, proud month thing. I thought it would be fun to do this once in 50 years. And I hope you have a great Pride month for everybody else. Uh, you no know, want to celebrate the whole month. I I want to say I'm gonna celebrate Gothic month, but there is no Gothic month. It was that one day, and you don't see that all, all over the media. But then on the other hand, we got a uh, gothic is uh, has a whole Halloween pretty much. I mean, we like Halloween. It's fucking you know we celebrate Halloween all over year long, pretty much. I mean, look at my skulls. Those things are good for Halloween and any other occasions. Oh, I'm just saying. Anyway, I'm not going to end it. You you already talked. I talked enough. I think 20 minutes is enough. I hope you're proud to be yourself, and I see you guys. In my next film. Goodbye and uh, be proud, boys and girls and animals and uh, everything else. Bye bye! And then the days got worse and worse, and now you see I've gone completely out of my mind.